Hello, happy to have you joining us again for another devotion from Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel. Today we're going to talk about the Apostle Paul's words to the Philippians in chapter 1, verse 21. There the Apostle Paul says this, For me, for to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Advertisers are pretty good, aren't they? They find slogans and music to go with those slogans that make them very memorable to us. As for example, I bet you can name these in, in real short order. If I simply say, what's the breakfast of champions? It probably doesn't take you too long to come up with Wheaties. If you know that restaurant chain that tells you to eat fresh, it probably doesn't take you long to come up with Subway. I probably only have to sing the notes, ba da ba 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 and you know that you're loving it at McDonald's, right? Or like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You see how good those advertisers are? Short, sweet, to the point, catchy music, catchy slogans, all so consumers remember their products. Maybe the Apostle Paul should have made a motto or slogan about what he said in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Apostle Paul wrote those words from prison, under house arrest in Rome. And he explains in the following verses exactly what he means. To live means fruitful labor, Paul says. He can go on telling people about the happiness and joy they have and the forgiveness of sins in their Savior Jesus. But to die, Paul says, even better. That's gain, because he was going to go home to his eternal place of perfect joy in heaven. Isn't that a great slogan for us? For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. We know that if God has us on this earth, if we're allowed to continue living here, he has work for us to do. And every day we can wake up, thank God for giving us another day of his grace and ask ourselves, what is it that I can accomplish for you, Jesus, today? How can I be you, Jesus, to other people? But if our end comes, if the last day comes and it's our time to go home, with the Apostle Paul, we say, that is gain. That's our goal. That's where we want to be in the perfect joy of heaven. If my last day is today, if your last day is coming up soon, we're ready. We're ready because the blood of Jesus makes us ready. It makes us children of God, heirs of eternal life. Yes, for us to live is Christ and to die is gain. May God bless us as we live according to that motto, looking ahead to the joy that we will have with him forever and eternity. Thank you for joining us again. God bless you. Remember, Jesus loves you.